Hello and welcome to the introduction. My name is Boże Banaszewski and I am part of the team at DTI, developing components in the Shop for CF project. ROS2 Monitor is a component meant for developers using ROS2. You can think about it as a dashboard for monitoring health, logging, examining services, publishers and subscribers associated with ROS2 nodes. Or, to put it differently, it's a graphical interface for ROS2 commands related to nodes and their communication. Its purpose is to ease both development and runtime monitoring. With that in mind, let's see how it works. On the left, we can see a flood of messages coming from different nodes. They come from the operation of our other component developed within Shop4CF. By using the ROS2 terminal commands, we can preview the topics and nodes of this system. ROS2 monitor is started as any other ROS package with run command. Initially, no nodes are selected, hence nothing is shown by the monitor. Let's select a few nodes that we want to have an overview of. All available nodes are displayed in the left column. By mouse selecting and dragging, we can move nodes between the two columns or discard them using the bin icon. Now we can see all publishers, subscribers and services associated with the selected nodes. We can also see dynamic configuration parameters together with their values and types. On the bottom of the window, there is a log, which can be filtered with keywords. On the top of the window, we can see how many nodes are currently online. If one of the nodes is destroyed, the user will be immediately notified. To visualize it, let's try to add more nodes and then purposefully destroy one of them. The settings and selected nodes can be saved for later use. After closing the app, the last saved settings will be loaded by default. 